One of the things that endears me to the Yorubas is their love for extravagant parties, aka Owambe. And when Shegun Johnson is now in the mix, it's all over. It's finished. There's always food, drinks, fashion. I miss going for a Yoruba party in simple terms. The Ajo Shepo movie premiere that held in Lagos over the weekend was all about that vibe. Hence the dress thing, Owambe extravaganza. Directed by the brilliant Kayode Kasum, this movie is no doubt going to get a five-star rating once it hits cinemas today, April 10th. Guests didn't disappoint to show up in their usual Nigerian opulent style. From a badass paired with fillers to lavish lace dresses paired with the gele, and of course, the ashabi of the day made the event so colorful and top tier. Welcome to the Adjusepo movie premiere, Fashion Girls. I already gave you all a definition of the dress thing, but in case you missed it, let's just delve a bit deeper into what Owambe extravaganza actually means. Owambe is a Yoruba term used to describe extravagant parties held in Nigeria or any part of the world by Nigerians. <laughs> Therefore, this dress theme required guests to show up looking very lavish, very extravagant, very luxurious. I'm hoping we're all on the same page now. Hmm? Let's analyze what your faves done and will either praise or roast their looks. Hey y'all, Chantel here for usual, the curator of this channel and your fashion bestie and the best fashion analysts that you've ever watched, you've ever come across. <laughs> Happy Eid Fitri. I hope I pronounced that well to my Muslim subscribers. Thank you all so much for sticking around. I hope you have fun today and eat as much. If people love me enough, please send me around meat. Yes, thank you. If this is your first time here and you love it here already, please do well to subscribe. Also, don't forget to click on the bell icon next to the subscribe button. So whenever I post, you'll be one of the first to get that amazing, insightful education, all right? If you also enjoy watching the video, only if you enjoy watching it. Signify by giving it a thumbs up, leaving a comment in the comment section, and sharing to your friends and family, because I know they will enjoy my channel as well. Yeah, I'm considered like that. Next person on my list is lead character in the movie that plays Bright Tani, is Tomike, looking expensive in this purple and seafoam green number by Vicky James Official. She has the mismatch sleeve thingy going on with structured sleeves on one and the other sinks with the hand beaded bodies complete with flutter or gaza detail. Sweet hat neckline as well. The hand beading on this dress is exquisite. Look how it seamlessly drapes into the seafoam stone tool skirts that mimics a wrapper. I definitely care on the flawless frontal install. Gele Maestro Onigele came through on the Sego Gele. Check out those layers on the gilet. They look so, 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 so good. TMT by Lion Cap for makeup, triple layered beads with amethyst stone pendant, earrings, and matching bangle by Luidio. To finish off the look is the textured purple purse and magenta feather hand fan cutsy Lux Extra. There's nothing to fault with this look. Colors are not clashing. Fit is phenomenal on her. She stole the show as she should be because she's the blind. <laughs> she gets a 9 out of 10 from me. Tomika's so on-screen partner, Mike Afolaren, came through wearing this textured two-toned bronze and blue metallic abada by Rex Fashion Concept and Cadil Co. Cadiclo, rather. Neckline of the abada has a navy velvet background jazzed up with gold and royal blue Applicates for a grandeur groom like appearance. Underneath, she has on a navy mandarin neckline shirt with velvet borders, velvet loafers with tassels by 313 Echo on his feet. Accessories include a filler, long coral bead necklace with matching bangles, gold necklace, gold bangle, a pinky ring, walking stick, and sunglasses. A really nice and unusual look, well curated for the event. If you ask me, he gets an 8 out of 10 from me for this. Executive producer of the movie, Bolaji Ogumola, is next in a Beef Emporium creation. Aqua blue mermaid hem dress adorned with stones, sequin, and silver appliques. Off shoulder pleated neckline with a skin tone mesh insert. 
I wish they went a tad lighter with the mesh fabric. It would have been undetectable. She still hates those. Rhinestone collar necklace with matching earring and bracelet for added glamour. White gilly and subtle makeup to complete the look. Extra points to have for not being predictable with the gilly choice. Silver would have been everyone's first choice, but white equally worked and I'm glad she went with white. I really love the dress on her. The fit is amazing. Completely in sync with the theme. Owambe Extravaganza. 8 out of 10 from me. Cast member of the movie, Kana Aga Jr. gave Yoruba Angel vibes in a white abada with matching embroidery and tassel details. Complete with an orange filler for contrast, square frame sunglasses, chunky layered beads with matching bangle, gold chain strap wristwatch, gold bangle, an ikere aka hostel, and black clovers. The Ashoke filler is part of the Ashoebi and it tied well with the outfit. It looks dapper. I'm going to rate KJ an 8.5 out of 10. He understood the theme and delivered appropriately. Love it. Also starring in the movie is Lizzie J. She donned the official astrobe of the day, green and white at the red fabric. Her look is giving old school Owambe. <laughs> Mini length Iro and Buba, aka Oleku fits, with punctured embroidery detailing by Twice Gorgeous. Hair is a pulled back afro hairstyle to further amplify the old school look. Dramatic sunglasses, gold hoops, gold necklace with a clover shaped necklace, a pendant rather. Also part of the Ashwebi is the burnt orange Ipele. A very fun Owambe attire. She gets a 7 out of 10 from me. If there's one thing the next person will always do is give us hot pots. Timini Ebosun doesn't disappoint when it comes to fashion. Styled by celebrity stylist Funky Jerry, he came through in this luxe danshiki by Deji and Kola. Black danshiki with these deluxe embroidery detailing. Matching Abeti Aja cap. Triple layered coral beads with matching bangle. Gold skeletal frame clear ritzy glasses by Anna Karin Carlson. Gold stud earring, black leather strap watch black and gold walking stick. Finally, are his velvet booties for footwear. Timini embodies royalty in this look. The look and the theme go hand in hand. 9.5 out of 10 from me for this. Eferele gave a blast from the past by repping in her mom's multicolor lace era and boba. Simple but elegant is how I describe this look. I love how she also infused modern day with the burnt orange ashray bigele. Beautiful rice beads coral with matching earring and bangle for jewelry. Gold bedazzled shoe and purse to complete the look. If it gets a 7.5 out of 10 for this. The eighth person on my list is Tylis Extraordinaire, Swanky Jerry, in an out of the ordinary Deji and Color fit. This striped black and white layered outfit with brown spiral embroidery that is reminiscent of the Thief traditional attire. Seems to me like a cohort set with brocade shirt and wide leg tailored pants underneath, complete with a cap. Loads of accessorizing in true swanky manner. Silver stone choker with matching earrings, a silver neck chain, and a Karen Carlson glasses, the Monte bangles, and the coral bangle. This is an innovative avant-garde Owambe look, I should add. <laughs> it definitely sits well with the theme. Swanky gets an 8.5 out of 10 from me for this. He looked really amazing. Pelu Mwibuari didn't come to play with us. She came to sleep. Repping in the Adire Ashwebi, her style is this sheer green halter neck straight cut flawless dress with sheer ruffled sleeves by Azel.ng. More details on the dress include a gold strip applique on the neckline, these colorful stones around the bodies, plain velvet fabric on one side, and more of the see-through fabric around her midriff. Makeup by Kimberly Beauty Co. looks good. She's glowing. The gale complemented the outfit style. Gold chunky set and nose ring for jewelry. Gold chain strap wristwatch. Gold purse and bejeweled clear pumps to finish off that look. A lot of details going on, but that's what you get with Owambe looks. It's go big or go home. Pelumi gets a 7.5 out of 10 from me for this. 
Ekene Udosin styled by Rex Fashion Concept in this bubble gum pink cotton Meve CNG Abada. The front part of the Abada has these floral attributes that gives the outfit a nice contrast. His stylist plays it safe, or would I say kept things simple with black as the preferred color for accessorizing. Black beaded necklace, black velvet cap, black square frame sunglasses, black wristwatch, black bangle, black ring, uh, black strappy dress shoes, a little bit of silver jewelry as well. Such a bold and unusual look, and I think he rocked it so well. An 8 out of 10 is befitting for this look. Shimeze Imo also giving Yoruba Angel <laughs> in an off-white abada with classic gold embroidery. Styled by King Black, the look was completed with an orange ashoike filler, coral bead necklace, off-white beaded bangles, a silver strap chain watch, silver and black walking stick, and finally, these luxury gold and black slipper. A very Owambe extravagant appropriate look. Chimeze gets an 8 out of 10 from me. There's something so soothing about Bisola. She exudes girl's girl energy. I know I digress, but I just had to throw that in here. <laughs> she served in the Ashevi of the day in this elegant straight dress by Annabelle Studios. Round neck with mesh neckline that is her perfect skin tone shade. Silver appliques around the bust and shoulders. Tiered three-quarter sleeve that is a mix of plain and pattern. Um, straight cut with a slit behind for ease of movement. I love how Annabelle arranged their direct fabric, larger prints at the top and narrower design at the bottom. Turban style gilly by Bam Gilly and iconic glam pond, the cute makeup. Silver earrings, silver rings, silver wristwatch and silver bangles for jewelry. Beaded handheld bag and metallic barely there sandals for footwear. Bisola looked so glam and classy in this outfit. He accentuated her figure as well. She gets an 8 out of 10 from me for this. The last person in this Adjusepo premiere fashion rose is Bohumi David. He showed up to the premiere in a somewhat traditional ethnic attire. I use the word somewhat because it's missing some staple elements like the white shirt and the open woman. Nevertheless, it's not a bad look. Royal blue long sleeve shirt with embroidery details, complete with a metallic blue Damax Usobo, aka wrapper. Coral and gold layered necklace, matching bangles, gold rings, and a gold watch for jewelry. More accessorizing with a black velvet embroidered cap, clear oversized glasses, and black slippers. His look is definitely in sync with the Owen Bear theme. He gets a 7.5 out of 10 from me for this. Done with the fashion rose segment, I'm moving on to my favorite part, the best and worst dress segment. <laughs> best dress meal. Hmm. I think all the guys represented to a T. No stones were left unturned. Zephyr looks left, right, and center. It was a struggle to come up with my best dressed meal. But after much back and forth, I decided to go with Timmy Ebuson, a real life Owen Bear King. He looks so good. Definitely my best dressed meal with the Adjusepo movie premiere. Best dressed female, Tomika, of course. Who else? She gave main character energy. She checked all the boxes. She ate and left no crumbs. My best dressed female, without a doubt. What's dressed? Nobody falls under that category. I mean, they all represented so well. They all understood the assignment. If any Nigerian fails with a theme such as Owambe Extravaganza, then you need to be ostracized. You need to be banished. I mean. <laughs> so yeah, no one's dress today. But if you have, you can leave yours in the comment section. All right. Do you agree with my best and worst dress category? Let me know in the comment section. Also, not forgetting to leave reasons why. Okay. Thank you all so much for watching. Kindly subscribe if you are yet to join the Chantel Nation fam. Until I come your way again on Friday. Stay amazing. Mwah. Bye, y'all.